Though my full-time job is being a doctor, I spend my off days in front of a computer screen making animations, and then I scroll YouTube and Reddit in bed until I fall asleep. My eyes are always sore and dry. Sometimes vision becomes blurry with frequent headaches, neck aches, and back aches. I got my eyes tested for any sinister visual defects. There were none. It allowed me to self-diagnose digital eye strain or computer vision syndrome. So, what did I do next? I bought an expensive pair of custom-made glasses with blue light filters. Unfortunately, blue glasses didn't provide me any relief. That's when I analyzed researches and found an evidence-based strategy to cure the digital eye strain. Blinking Blinking spreads tears evenly across the eyes, providing a layer of lubrication. It's a known fact that digital screens reduce blink rates by two-thirds. This happens even when you use a blue light filter. The earliest signs of digital eye strain such as soreness, redness, and eye fatigue are caused by the reduced blinking. I blink a few times intentionally when I work with digital screens. This little intervention prolonged the onset of early signs. The problem is when I concentrate hard, I forget this habit. I tried artificial tears to supplement natural tears, but honestly, the relief is not as great as I expected. Accommodation The human eye's ability to change focus is called accommodation. Printed letters are easier to be focused on my eyes since they are sharp and well-defined. Texts on digital screens are made of pixels, which are brightest at the center and somewhat less bright at the periphery. This lack of definition confuses the eyelids. At one second, the lens will be resting, and in the next second, it will refocus on the text. This constant focusing and refocusing creates fatigue in the ciliary muscles that control the eyelids. The result is blurred vision, double vision, and headaches. Increasing the contrast of the screen will make the text appear sharper and more distinct. It should help the eyes to focus better. This is when I found the golden remedy. 20-20-20 rule is the easiest way to prevent computer vision syndrome. After every 20 minutes, look at a distance of 20 feet for 20 seconds. This allows the eye muscles to relax without getting fatigued. And after every two hours of work, take a break of 20 minutes. The light reflex. Pupils control the amount of light that enters the eye. In a dark surrounding, pupils dilate and allow more light to come in. Whereas, in a bright surrounding, pupils constrict to limit the entry of light. Look at my workstation. I prefer working in a dark room. The problem with this setting is, pupils have to constrict while focusing on the bright screen and will have to dilate when focusing on the dark surrounding. This constant dilation and constriction can cause fatigue in the iris, which is the group of muscles that control the pupil. It is advised to adjust the brightness of the screen to the brightness of the surroundings to minimize this eye fatigue. That's why I use dark mode all the time. If you are working in bright surroundings, light can reflect off the screen and cause a similar effect. Using window blinds and anti-glare screens can minimize the symptoms. The Myth Blue light doesn't cause computer vision syndrome. If you don't trust me, listen to the American College of Ophthalmologists. Blue lights emitted from the sun have been shown to cause damages to the retina of the eyes. Can the little amounts of blue light emitted from digital screens cause similar damage? The answer is no. The American College of Ophthalmologists rejects any link between blue light and computer vision syndrome. Ergonomics Poor ergonomic designs and posture are responsible for neck pain, back pain, and shoulder pains. Keep the screen at an arm's length from the eyes. This distance is about 25 inches. Also, the screen should be about 15 to 20 degrees below eye level. The correct seated posture is characterized by comfortable pads that conform to the body, arm supports, and a height that allows feet to rest flat on the floor. When there's no relief. Uncorrected vision problems like astigmatism, presbyopia, farsightedness, and improper glasses and contact lenses worsen the computer vision syndrome. If the above measures don't provide you relief, visit an ophthalmologist to rule out existing vision problems. The doctor can also prescribe advanced eye drops and tailor-made glasses with added power for better relief. <laughs>